Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to do some chemistry. More specifically, we're going to deal with acids and bases. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Ooh. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? That's good. Here we go. Acids and bases. There we go. Now, recall from your chemistry class that the product of the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration will always equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. That was called the ion product constant for water, okay? And it's denoted by the variable K sub W, okay? Now, often to simplify the notation in this product here, we often replace H3O plus with H plus. For instance, we instead of saying the product of hydronium ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration, we usually say hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, okay? And that's denoted by Kw. So you can talk more about that notation with your chemistry instructor, okay? We're going to do the math, though. Okay, well, recall, we just said the product of the hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations will always equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now with this, we can get a relationship with something called pH and pOH. We're actually going to talk about the P scale and talk about what does the P actually mean. So here we go. Now, in the previous lectures, we were doing logarithms, right? Okay, so now, what we're going to do with our equation here is we're going to take the negative log of both sides. So here we go. Negative log of the left-hand side is equal to the negative log of the right-hand side, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. Well, from your math classes, remember, the log of the product is the sum of the logs, okay? So the log of the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration is a sum, right? So here we go. We have negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration plus the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration must equal the negative log of that 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, remember, which is the ion product constant. Now get your calculator out, Charlie, and calculate the log, remember it's log base 10, of log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, and what do you get? Negative 14. Very good, you do get negative 14. Okay, so our right hand side is the opposite of negative 14, which will be positive 14. We'll get to that in a second. Now let's talk about something called the P scale. Okay, P scale is used generally when you have small numbers. Okay, and watch what happens here. The negative log is actually represented by the symbol P. Okay, this gives us what we call the P scale, and it is based on the common logarithms or log base 10. Okay, calculations here. So, the symbol P actually means negative log. So when you see P, you think negative log. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to let the hydrogen ion concentration be represented by H. So pH is actually means negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. That's what it is. That's what pH is it's on the P scale. And now, of course, we have a sum here, okay? And here we have negative log, which we represent with P. And then for the hydroxide ion concentration, we write OH, okay? So that's what POH actually means negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And that is equal to, well, we found before, right, in our previous calculation, that the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th is going to equal 14. So this gives us an equation. It's an equation that relates pH and pOH, and we find that their sum is equal to 14. Now notice here, we have 14.00, okay? Now that's because of significant figures. Remember, whenever you do a logarithmic calculation, okay, in our ion product constant, we have 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, which is two significant figures. Now, when you do the logarithmic calculation of that, if you do a logarithmic calculation, take a log of a number with two significant figures, you must have two decimal places. That's why we're writing our sum as 14.00 to stay in tune with significant figures, okay? Now let's move on here. Now here's a problem here. We're given that the hydrogen ion concentration, Charlie, 
is 4.3 times 10 to the negative ninth molarity. Remember, that's moles per liter. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the fact that the product of the concentrations of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion must equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. And given that we have the hydrogen ion concentration, we can use that formula to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration. By doing this, we take our equation there and we're going to divide both sides by the hydrogen ion concentration. Notice left-hand side, they cancel, and that gives us the relationship that the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 negative 14th over the hydrogen ion concentration, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's calculate our hydroxide ion concentration. We'll take that, and that's equal to, right, on top, the ion product constant divided by the hydrogen ion concentration. And since we're given the hydrogen, hydrogen ion concentration, we'll write it in on the bottom there. There it is, 4.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. And we'll go ahead and get our calculator out. And get our calculation, Charlie. Get to work and tell me what you get. Okay, in scientific notation, you should get 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity for your hydroxide ion concentration. So there we go. We were given the hydrogen ion concentration, right? And we use the ion product constant for water over there to get the hydroxide ion concentration, and there it is. Now, okay, let's go ahead. We have our hydrogen ion concentration and our hydroxide ion concentration, which we just calculated. Now, is this solution acidic or is it basic? Now, some people have a hard time trying to determine, hey, which is the higher concentration? Which has more, the hydrogen ion concentration or the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, to do this, I recommend you take the numbers out of scientific notation so you can see a little bit clearer which is the larger molarity. Watch. 4.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. We'll take it out of scientific notation, and there it is. Okay? And that's molarity. Now, Hydroxide ion concentration is 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6. There it is. Now, for comparison, we're going to add a couple zeros here so we can see which is larger. Now, looking at those two, Charlie, which is more, the hydroxide ion concentration or the hydroxide ion concentration? Hydrogen ion concentration or hydroxide ion concentration? Which is more? Hydroxide. That's right. It is the hydroxide ion concentration. That is more. Okay, and so if the hydroxide ion concentration is more, Charlie, is this solution basic or acidic? Basic. It is basic, that's right. Okay, remember, a solution is basic if the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than the hydrogen ion concentration, right? Okay, now we have our concentrations. Let's calculate pH. Remember, what does P mean, Charlie? Negative law. Negative law, that's right. So, and the H represents the? Hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion concentration. Very nice. So, we have negative log. We'll put in our number for hydrogen ion concentration, which is 4.3 times 10 to the negative ninth. And we make our calculation here. Remember, we have two significant figures in our logarithmic calculation, so our answer should be two decimal places, right? Okay, Charlie. There we go. We get what? 8.37. 8.37. That's right. And now, let's calculate our pOH. Remember, pOH represents the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And so we get negative log. Put in your hydrogen, hydroxide ion concentration. What do you get? 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6. Remember, our log, we're taking the log of two significant figures there, which means we should have two decimal places. And what do you get, Charlie? 5.64. 5.64, that's right. Now remember earlier, okay, we have all our information. We have the hydrogen ion concentration, hydroxide ion concentration, our pH, and pOH, okay? Now, suppose we use the fact that the sum of pH and pOH was 14.00. Well, 